Hi, I'm Jim Meyer. I'm a retired ELCA Lutheran pastor. And in my collection in times long ago, I'd like to tell you the story of skunk oil. And this is Edna's story by James P. Meyer. Well, let me tell you, I was about 14 years old. I remember my dad used his team in the forest to haul supplies to the loggers. He worked six days a week with his team of horses, caring for them and his equipment. He replaced an old broken harness with a new one he bought for $45. And I remember he said, I wish I had some good old skunk oil to rub on this harness. That gave me an idea that I couldn't get the idea out of my mind. So one day I grabbed the 22, got a change of clothes, a skillet, and my dad's knife and set out to skin a skunk. It was hot, sweaty work, searching the underbrush for miles until I spotted it. I shot a good sized one and tied its legs to a poplar tree. Making a, a circle from stones I found, I got my fire going from my gathered firewood. Skinning the skunk, I cut off all the fat and put that into the frying pan on the fire. I cut the, cut the rest of the skunk down and threw it into the woods for the other skunks to eat. They're cannibals, you know. Once the fat was liquid, I used a screen to strain it into a jar. After a while, I didn't even smell the skunk. You know, I had nearly a quart of skunk oil. The swimming hole was down a ways, so I headed there. I had brought some soap to scrub with and grabbed sand from the bottom and scrubbed all over. I burned my old smelly clothes and put on my change of clothes. I headed home triumphantly with that jar of skunk oil. Once home, Mom came out, sniffed deeply and said, okay, you can go into the house. And we had coffee together. I was so proud of myself that day my dad stood nodding his head like he was pleased. We use that old skunk oil for everything except for cooking. The end. I wonder, I wonder how Edna felt when she set out on the trail to find a skunk. I wonder if she had second thoughts about the journey. I wonder in her, if her heart raced when she spotted the skunk. I wonder if as she told the story with confidence, if at the time she was just as confident about her quest. I wonder if you've ever had a singleness of mind to do a difficult task that wasn't an everyday task. I wonder what Ma expected when she saw Edna coming home. I wonder how dad felt when she produced the skunk oil. I wonder what is in the spray of a can of furniture polish or what is in saddle soap. I wonder if you've ever used skunk oil for anything.